Ladies and gentlemen, little video about why I believe in God. Um, I'm going to start to do vids on God and religion and them doity atheists possibly every Sunday or every couple Sundays I might do a video about that there. I understand some of my subs don't like it there, but I do vids that I want to make, you know what I mean? If you don't like them or something like this, just don't watch them or, you know, watch the other vids that interest you or something. And if you're an angry atheist, one of them tough guy atheists and you got a problem there, bring it on! But, um... Yeah, basically, I grew up going to Catholic school, Catholic church there. And um, in my 30s or something like this, I started to have a problem there. You know, I was listening to atheist material on here, reading atheist books. Um, I had a problem with the Bible. And I started going... In the atheist side of the pool there, I started, you know, going in and out of my fate. I was struggling with the fate. I was becoming an atheist, then an agnostic. Then I would try to get back in the church, and then I would get back in the world of atheism. I was struggling with the fate there. I was confused. But now I'm back. On the good side of the Lord there, hopefully there. But, um, yeah, I, I'm back going to church these days. It's been almost two years that my beliefs are strong again there. So, I'm not an atheist anymore. Not going to go back to atheism. I often get accused of trolling and stuff like this. Not trolling anybody. In the past, I was, you know, struggling with the fate there, but now I'm back in business. I'm believing for real. I'm a God-fearing Christian there. I'm not Ned Flanders. You know, I'm not pretending that I don't masturbate. Or so. I swear, I talk doity dogs. I'm not a perfect man. But, I'm, you know, I'm not here to impress other Christians on here either that want to judge people. I'm a better believer than you, this and that. I'm not here to suck up to other Christians, nothing like this. I'm here to talk about me and what I believe in. And I believe in God. Why? Mostly because of personal experience. It is what it is. I can tell you, hey, this guy created this argument. <laughs> the Bible says this and that there. But really, I've experienced things that makes me believe in God, which is why I'm a believer. You know what I mean? An atheist might say, hey, there, your personal experience isn't good enough. You need to prove scientifically that God exists. Well, here's the deal with that, dear. Atheists are going to say, I don't know that God doesn't exist. I only believe that he doesn't exist. Therefore, I don't have to prove anything. Well, it's the same thing with me, dear. Logically and rationally and... Honestly, I can't say that I know that God exists because I've never met him. Never spoke to him. God never came to my birthday party or anything like this there. So I can't claim to physically know and to scientifically know that he exists there. However, I do believe in him. So if that's good enough for y'all then that should be good enough for me. If I only believe, then I shouldn't have to provide you with any evidence. Once y'all start to provide evidence for your belief, then I'll do the same thing there. But 
Quite frankly, I believe in him because of personal experience. Atheists are going to say, your personal experience isn't good enough. What did you experience? Quite frankly, there's no reason to even tell them what I've experienced because they're going to assume that I'm lying, which is a logical fallacy. They're going to assume that I'm mental or something like this. So basically, they're going to make shit up about me. They're going to make false assumptions. They're going to make logical fallacies to try to, to disprove <laughs> my personal experience. But quite frankly, they can't disprove it. And they know that they can't disprove it. They're going to say, well, you're... Your personal experience isn't good enough. It's not good enough to convince others. And quite frankly, I don't give a fuck if it's not good enough to convince others. I'm not a priest. I'm not here to convert anybody to my religion. Like I said, I believe what I believe in. That's as far as it goes with it there. There's also things that I observe in nature and there's lots of different things I'll talk about in the future. Lots of stuff that make me believe in God, in nature. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, when I look at the flowers, then I know that God exists. It's not like that, you know. But different things that I see makes me believe it doesn't mean i know oh i look at this and that and that gives me scientific proof but i observe different things and it makes me believe you know what i'm saying so that's about it there i believe in god i'm a catholic um when it comes to the bible i wasn't there when it was written so you know, I don't know 100%. I'm not going to sit here and say, yes, everything in the Bible is real. I know it's real. I can't say that because that would be a lie. It would be dishonest. I don't know that. Okay? I think a lot of that is symbolic. There's a lot of good stuff in it. You know what I mean? But there's also stuff that it's obvious that it was written by man, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to sit there, for example, and try to justify slavery in the Bible. There's lots of stuff in the Bible. It's obvious it was written by man and that it's not real. But just because men wrote things and made mistakes in the Bible... That doesn't mean that God doesn't exist because men wrote stuff in the Bible and there's a couple contradictions that doesn't prove that God is fake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, attacking the Bible to disprove God, that can be a logical fallacy right there too because, you know, <laughs> it doesn't disprove God. It just doesn't. But there's lots of stuff in there, symbolic stuff, stuff that you can use, you know, as a life lesson. But there's also things that isn't really good there. But yeah, um, I go to the Catholic Church because I grew up as a Catholic. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. So... That's the church that I'm going to go to. I'm not going to go to a Buddhist church or anything like this. I'm going to go to a Catholic church, even though I can't prove 100% that the Bible is real. I know that it's not 100% real, nor does it have to be real for me. You know what I mean? I believe in God, and that's what matters to me. Personal experience, dog. And stuff that I observe that makes me believe. So there you go. That's why I believe in God. I'm going to go more into detail in the future. Later down the line, I might make vids on Sundays every...
couple Sundays or something like this. We'll see what happens there. So there you go, Doug. Cedric, back in the religion video business there. I'm not interested in converting people, not interested in telling you that you're going to burn in hell or anything like that there. I'm just going to make vids to talk to you about, you know, stuff that I believe in because I enjoy making these vids and that's about it there. Have a nice day. Until next time. Peace.